this is not easy. Good morning, YouTube! What's up, everybody? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. I'm vlogging. That's right, this week I'm gonna switch it up. I wanna do something a little bit different than your standard just sitting on the couch video, which is great, but um, I'm craving something a little more creative this week. And actually it's a perfect week for it because this is gonna be somewhat of a shoe review video, kind of, um, but it's also gonna talk about what's next for me in terms of racing. What do I want to do? Anyway, today's video, what is it about? Well, it's about a shoe that I got yesterday in the mail, and that shoe is the, let's walk over to it, shall we? It is the Metaspeed Sky Plus. That's extremely backlit. The Metaspeed Sky Plus. Look at all of that foam, my goodness. It's like ASICs knew that I needed a pair of Metaspeed Sky Pluses. And um, that's because I'm gonna be doing a time trial run in the next coming days, well, tomorrow, and I will film some of it. Um, but I'm gonna be doing a time trial to kind of determine where my speed is at um, for my next upcoming big race. I've decided that I am ready to do another marathon, this time much differently, um, but I am ready. So on October 23rd, I'm gonna do the Suffolk County Marathon, which is basically just a local marathon here on Long Island. It's nothing crazy, no frills, it's not a major marathon. It's just a marathon here locally that I can go to from my house and do and just sign up very easily. This was not a lotto. Um, I did try to get into the Chicago marathon by the lottery. I didn't get in and um, that's okay because there are other options and this one I can just easily sign up for like I said. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna sign up today for the Suffolk Marathon and then um, we are going to do a time trial tomorrow morning in the Metaspeed Sky Plus. And then I'll give you my thoughts on the Metaspeed Sky Plus and we'll talk about how it's different from just the regular Metaspeed Sky. Gotta grab my laptop here. Look how dirty that screen is. All right, let's see here. Click to register. Let's do it. 194, uh, marathon. Uh. Congratulations. You are registered. Sorry, there's a big glare there. You're registered for the Catholic Health Suffolk County Marathon. We're in. All right, so that's it. I'm officially registered for the Suffolk County Marathon on October 23rd, 2022. Um, so like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna be wearing the Metaspeed Sky Plus for my time trial. It's not supposed to be like crazy, like go super hard, run out of gas kind of time trial, but just to see where I am speed wise, like I think I said that earlier. Um, again, this training cycle is really not gonna be about speed and um, trying to like PR. Uh, for the marathon, that's really not the goal. This time it's gonna be just doing better and feeling better mentally than I did in the last marathon. Uh, so tomorrow, I'll be back here for the time trial. See you then. That was so lame. Good morning. It is, I think like 7.45. Um, and I'm about to do my time trial. I just stretched, I'm all dressed. I am rocking the shoes. The first thing I'll tell you about the shoes is that um, they must have fixed like the sizing because in the Metaspeed Sky, the original, I had to size down a half size to really get them to fit properly. Uh, and I didn't have to do that this time. These came straight from, um, straight from the box. Uh, they're a men's size nine, women's ten and a half because they're unisex. So they fit great, no complaints, and I love the color. But first, we're gonna do 
the warm-up mile. Um, and then we'll do the time trial. Bye, Ruby. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm about 0.65 into the warm-up mile. And uh, I would say these feel a little bit awkward going easy pieces, obviously. But they definitely have a really intense roll forward. Or <laughs> it really feels like fall off a cliff forward. Um, which feels strange now. But I'm eager to see what it feels like when I start picking up the pace a little bit. Warm up mile done. 9.46 pace. All right. Here comes the real thing. for a 5k 750 uh, 740 per mile <sighs> not bad not bad but definitely a struggle um, the shoes feel great though we'll talk about those in a minute okay 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 I think this is good I think we're working here with the best that we're gonna get. Okay, so as you know, I just ran in the new Metaspeed Sky Plus. Before we get started, I just wanna let you know that ASICS and Running Warehouse sent me this shoe. They're not paying me to make this video. They can't tell me what to say. And all of my opinions are my own. So if you remember back a couple months ago, I made a video about my favorite super shoe, and that was the OG ASICS Metaspeed Sky. So when I saw that they were making the Sky Plus, I was excited, but also a little worried that they might mess up the shoe. So, did they mess up the shoe with the shoe? Honestly, I'm gonna say no, they didn't. I will also say that I'm not exactly sure that this shoe would completely get rid of the regular Metaspeed Sky in my rotation, but I do think that this has uh, some really nice updates that kind of move the shoe forward a bit. Realistically, the shoe just won't get uh, 250 miles for me because I just don't run in these kind of super shoes enough. Uh, so you might see another video with the shoe or you might not. Immediately, the first difference that I noticed was the upper. Um, this has a really nice breathable upper, but also it has some structure in it, um, which is a nice welcomed kind of thing when you have a super shoe. A lot of super shoe uppers are kind of flimsy. I was concerned that this new upper that they're calling, hold on, motion wrap, they're calling it motion wrap. I was worried that this motion wrap upper would uh, be more flimsy, but it's actually not. And like I said, the upper is almost better this time around because it's true to size, this shoe. Um, I put it right on, had no issues with the sizing and I was able to get just the right amount in the forefoot of this shoe. I don't love the tongue. It's a little bit flimsier than the regular Metaspeed Sky and it folds a little bit, but it didn't slide into the shoe, so we like that. And the laces are now kind of ribbed, and I think that's just to help them stay tied. And you have the exact same heel. So they did do updates to it, but they didn't ruin the shoe, so I like that. Okay, now obviously the big difference here in the shoe is the midsole and it's pretty noticeably different. You can see just how much more cushioning this has than this. And honestly, the Metaspeed Sky did not think was lacking in cushion. And here, you're certainly not gonna feel that way. This has what ASICS is calling an updated midsole geometry. So it has a pretty big sidewall here. And um, I think that is for stability purposes. And they also say that that provides a more propulsive toe off. I will say this shoe has a very intense toe off. As I was doing my warm up mile, I think I actually said it on camera, um, you really notice how much toe off this shoe has. It feels like you are falling off of a cliff. And when you're not running completely on your forefoot, it does feel super awkward. So I imagine that in my warm up mile, I was probably landing somewhere back here. Um, during my 
time trial though, I was trying to land up on that forefoot and utilize this toe off and I definitely think that it helped get me into my next stride. It feels a lot different than this. I thought this had a pretty nice propulsive toe off, but this is kind of like next level. And that leads me to my point where um, this might be a little too drastic for me in some cases on some workouts or races, whereas this feels like a little bit more natural, but you're still getting that like special ride that super shoes have. That's why I don't think that this would totally replace the regular Meta Speed Sky, but kind of like work together with each other. I know that these are not meant for 5Ks, they're meant for marathons, uh, but regardless, I do think that it was a pretty comfortable ride. I felt like it helped me to go a little bit faster than I would have gone if I was wearing a regular daily trainer. Um, and I think that during a marathon or longer distance running, uh, this will definitely feel good still in those later miles. And um, I guess I'll be testing that out soon in my marathon training. You're still getting that flight foam turbo uh, in this shoe and the full length carbon plate that the shoe has to offer, um, but it's just in a more intense package. And last but not least, both of these shoes have great grip with that Asics grip outsole. Great grip. I've never had an issue with Asics rubber. It's always been really supreme. So yeah, solid shoe all around, I would say. As far as pricing goes, this is going to be uh, 250 bucks. Pretty standard for a super shoe. Unfortunately, I wish that that wasn't the case. But it is. I'm not exactly sure when this is coming out. I think it's coming out pretty soon. When it is out, I will link it in the description down below, a running warehouse link. You guys know the drill. It's an affiliate link. Doesn't mean much for you. It just helps out my channel. So I can keep making these shoes and having fun reviewing them for you all and telling you what the difference is between these two. And I would say that they do have some pretty strong differences, but overall, um, I think if you like the Metaspeed Sky, you're gonna like the plus yeah overall good first run impression good impressions of the shoe in general and i think asics is absolutely killing it lately with their shoes such a great brand everyone wanted to you know throw shade at them a couple years ago but now they are top tier and were they ever really not top tier no, I don't think so. So everyone, that concludes this video. I kind of had fun doing a video like this, like a vlog style, not just like sitting on the couch talking about shoes. It was a little bit, bit more fun for me to do. If you liked this kind of video, let me know. And also, if you want me to document my training, like I did for Chicago, let me know down in the comments as well. I am kind of leaning towards doing that again, um, but now that I'm going back into the city two days a week, it might be a little bit more difficult, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit the notifications bell so you can find out every time I upload a new video. Hey, where's the ball? I have another video for you next week, but in the meantime, get out there, get the grind, and don't forget to run like hell. See you next time. Ruby, why would you eat sticks when you have a nice ball? Seems very silly, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so too.